All right, so I'm going to be unboxing this KJH wheel for the Nintendo Switch. This is a uh, motion control wheel with a base. Uh, it also returns to center and stuff. I thought maybe, maybe, just maybe, this would make steering games or racing games on the Nintendo Switch a little more bearable because of the base, but I may be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to unbox this right now. It, uh, the tape was already cut, so I'm a little, wasn't sure if, uh, it's like, is this a return? I don't know. Um, so here's the contents of the package. This is a base. So this has suction cups on it. Apparently we're getting sucked to the plastic. <laughs> So, yeah. So the base goes like that. And you put that on there. And I believe you can actually tilt. Yeah, you can move the steering wheel back and forth. Um, it got stuck. Um, so I guess this, the suction cups aren't terrible. Since I can't get it off. Okay. So that's the base. Or suction cups, no clamps or anything, but and then we have this wheel here, and it's not like a giant wheel. Like I have a um, what is that? The PlayStation T150, the Thrustmaster, uh, but that's just taking up a lot of space. And I want to see if this, just for simple casual play, will work. This has some kind of I don't know what that is, but. Maybe it ejects the... I don't know. But you have your triggers. Your, your, yeah, these up here. There's no pedal sets or anything like that. It's just that. So you put your Joy-Cons in here, of course. And basically, let's set this up here so you can see what it does. Uh, is there anything else in here? Just no instructions or anything? I have a reason to believe that this was a re <laughs> this was refunded or a return or something. Oh, okay. I think this is for. I don't know if you have to squeeze that to put it on or if it. Yeah, you squeeze that to put it on, and then let me get this into the view better. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it moved up and down, and then. There's somehow that you would turn it. Let's see. Hmm. Why is it not turning? Is there something I'm missing here? Oh, there's... Oh. <laughs> huh. Oh, okay. So... Is that it? No? Huh. I gotta, gotta figure this out because it's not turning. It's kind of hard to have a, a wheel that doesn't actually turn. So I'm gonna look into that. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I put it together wrong. Um, so it was just at a certain angle it has to be at. So you have this. Let's see how far this turns. It turns. Like 180 and it returns to center and uh, yeah so let me see about what does this do I don't know I don't know what that does if there's this button oh okay it just drops it down it allows you to change the can you move it up Okay, so that's what that does. <laughs> so let me just take this apart and put it back together on camera and uh, collapse it. I believe it came with this, like this. And, you know, if you put it on where it's like that, let me just <laughs> if you put this on where it's kind of like that, 
like this. You know, obviously it's not going to turn. So, but you need to actually have it like that. Put this on here. And then you put your Joy-Cons in there. And hopefully I can get some ridiculous... It's, it's very... Hmm, like that. But... Yeah, but you can adjust the angle kind of. I don't know that you can really do anything with that except that. Like, why would I do that? So, <laughs> I don't know what the point in that is. But yeah, there it is. So we're going to try it out. Um... I'm just going to do a gameplay with this uh, on the Switch. Okay, uh, <laughs> before I start this video, I just want to point out that there's one glaring flaw with this wheel. And let's show that. There's no way to remove the Joy-Cons unless you yank... The analog sticks to pull out the joy cons or modify it bit of a uh you know design flaw there we forgot about that i guess <laughs> so it's kind of it could fuck up your joy cons so that makes things suck but you could possibly modify it or put something in the back here like a uh ribbon or something to pull out your joy cons so you know if you want to do that, outside of that, it does actually work fairly well for what it does. Seeing as I'm a person who hates the motion controls for racing games. But, like I said, it actually doesn't work bad for these games. Some games that don't support motion controls, of course, you can't use them. But we're going to play... I played, already played a few games. Somehow I can't find my copy of Mario Kart, which really sucks. I wanted to show that. And uh, apparently, I'll lower my volume. Oh, uh, shit. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna lower my volume on the. Uh, hmm. Kind of hard to get around where I am. Oh. All right. So this way, no, you can hear me. All right, so, what was I going to say? Oh, this is hooked up incorrectly. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, God. Okay, now it's good. Alright, so this game works fine. I don't say the base makes a big difference. Like I said, kind of hard to get around the fact that, you know, removing the Joy-Cons is a little dangerous. <laughs> but, if you can, you know, do something about that, you know. That'll be fine. I don't know. Anyways, so, like I said, I feel that this works better with a base than if you just take it off. Because when you move your hands, it's just, it doesn't work, you know, you're moving it in weird ways and it doesn't always respond properly. But when you have a base, oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, when you have a base, um, that actually pop off? Oh, I'm not paying attention now. The suction cups normally hold really well, but I feel like the suction cup kind of popped off. Uh, ah, you suck. I haven't played this game in months, so I'm not going to do very well. But, this controls... This game's hard as balls anyways. The controls feel actually fairly good 
And, uh, you know, like I said, I normally hate the motion controls for steering. Because they just don't respond properly. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. I'm also playing around a camera, but... Kind of hard to try to play around with my hands wrapped around the camera. <laughs> uh, I may actually end up doing a gameplay capture that doesn't involve that. It's a direct capture because this is not easy like this, but. You see about trying to do it one hand. Oops. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to play something that's not as hard. <laughs> Asphalt 9 works fine. But let me go with Grid. That's a game that people tend to want to see. And this one actually works with these triggers and not just the A button. That's And the placement of the triggers and, and, and the uh, bumpers are fine. I actually really like the, that placement. Just have to remember if I'm going to play with a controller... I have to remember to set the, uh, turn off the motion controls. Welcome back, Ed. Oh, just to show how strong the, the suction cups are. I took the table with me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere um, normally. <laughs> okay, and I think after this, I'm just going to do a gameplay capture. But I got a dentist appointment to go to, so I will make sure that I get out on time. This game is not as hard as Fast RMX, so all it is a little rough. Ugh. Damn, guys, what the fuck? Thanks. Are you still trying to kill me? What are you doing, God? That hates my guts. AI in this is a little aggressive. Which is why I don't care about not hitting them.